First prepare your carrots by finely shredding two large carrots to make three full cups of shredded carrots. You can see how fine these carrot shreds are. You don't wanna buy the packaged pre-shred shredded carrots. Those are too thick. So just shred these till you have about three cups. Start by mixing two cups of flour swap, one and a half cups of granular sugar swap, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of ginger, and one fourth teaspoon of cloves, three fourths teaspoon fine sea salt, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Mix these well so all your dry ingredients come together. Next we'll mix four egg swaps. One half cup of butter swap. Next we'll add one half cup of a neutral flavored healthy oil, either extra virgin olive oil, I really like the flavor in this cake, or if you want a completely neutral tasting oil, go ahead and use cold pressed avocado oil. Melted coconut oil would also work. Mix your batter well, fully incorporating the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. Make sure your butter swap was well stirred and at room temperature before you try to mix it in. Remember, you can always store your butter swap open in the pantry for up to three months once you've broken the seal. So there's never really a reason to refrigerate your butter swap unless you want to store it more long term. So you can see these ingredients come together really well. And once everything is mixed, I'm going to let my dough rest for about five minutes to let all that fiber absorb, absorb the moisture. And then I'll mix again and then fold in my carrots, and raisins, coconut, and walnuts. I forgot to add my one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So here it goes. I'm going to stir that in well. Now my dough is rested for about five minutes. I'm going to give it one final mix for about a minute. I want you to look at the difference between the grain-free flour swap and the whole grain flour swap at this stage that I'll show you next. You can see the grain-free dough should be a little more dry, sticky, uh, not, not like a normal cake batter. This is perfect for the grain-free flour swap cake, okay? So this is normal. Here's the whole grain flour swap. You can see this batter looks a lot more like a traditional cake batter. It's nice and smooth. So this is gonna be perfect for the whole grain flour swap in this carrot cake. Next, we're gonna mix all of our add-ins. One cup of unsweetened shredded coconut, half a cup of raisins, one cup of coarsely chopped walnuts, and three cups of finely shredded carrots. Yum, yum, yum. We're gonna fold this in so it's nice and evenly dispersed throughout our batter. Here we go. We are folding all of the carrots and raisins, coconut, walnuts throughout the batter. Ooh, make sure you have a really big bowl when you make this cake, otherwise it's gonna be a mess. There's a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and get in here with some clean hands. Just make sure we have it all smooth and even. I've lined my nine inch cake pan with parchment paper. It's gonna make the cake so much easier to remove. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grease it. I always like the chosen chosen food avocado spray. Make sure your pan is really well greased. And then you're gonna divide your batter in between two nine inch cake pans. Now this is the grain free, so you're gonna have to press it into your cake pan evenly. Perfect. Now I'm gonna bake this at 325 for 50 minutes. You can see my whole grain flour swap cake batter looks a lot more like a normal cake batter. And I'm gonna go ahead and load my nine inch greased cake pan with the batter. And remember our whole grain, cake is going to have a few extra healthy, slowly digesting carbohydrates. It's vegan, but it's not going to be a keto or paleo version of this cake. It's high fiber, 
balanced macronutrient and made with oats and buckwheat and psyllium husk. And on this, I'm just gonna, rather than press, I'm just gonna smooth the top. And then I'm gonna bake at 325. This one is a tiny bit shorter, about 45 minutes versus 50 minutes on the grain free. We'll make our frosting by placing four cups of powdered sugar swap into a large bowl, then adding one third cup of well-stirred room temperature butter swap. Then we'll add an entire eight ounce container of Mikios or other plant-based cream cheese. Regular cream cheese will work just fine too. I like the Mikios brand because it's cultured. It's really got the tang that the cream cheese should have. And it blends up really well into a frosting. It's made out of cashews. I'm gonna do a couple pinches of some fine sea salt, about one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Of course, fresh is best, but I don't have it right now. So I'm just gonna use my organic lemon juice. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of plant milk, and then I'm gonna slowly add more as needed to get a nice, creamy, thick frosting consistency. <laughs> This looks perfect. It's ready to spread on my cooled carrot cake. One trick I love doing is adding about a half cup of unsweetened dried shredded coconut to about one third of the frosting. And the, this is gonna be our center frosting. So that center frosting between the two cake layers is gonna be full of coconut for added texture. It's so good. So now we've got our center froster, frosting layer, which is full of that chunky coconut. And then we have our nice smooth top layer. You can see a slight difference between the two flour swaps, but really these cakes turned out pretty similar. The grain free didn't puff up quite as much. It's a little more golden around the edges and the whole grain did rise a little bit more, but not a big difference. Just spread about one third of our frosting on half of the cake. And this is the third that I mixed with the unsweetened shredded coconut for added texture. And my frosting has been sitting in the refrigerator for a couple hours, so it's fairly firm. I released my cake by just taking a butter knife and scraping around the edges. And since we put that parchment paper in, it releases really easily. And I'll go ahead and put my top layer on. So pretty. I'll just go ahead and smear a nice layer on top. We've already got a really thick layer. Oops. Got a thick layer of frosting in the middle. So I was just gonna do a little thinner layer up here. Call it a day. Now I do have enough frosting left. I could always go around the edges, but I have made some extra cupcakes. So I'm gonna save my leftover frosting for those cupcakes. Now I'm just gonna top my cake with some toasted flaked coconut, or you could use toasted walnuts or just leave it simple um, as is. Here is just some toasted coconut. I'm gonna sprinkle over the top. This is gonna add some extra crunch, more texture to the carrot cake. And it just looks pretty. Nice healthy fat in the coconut. All right, beautiful. We have our carrot cake.